One thing that you'll need to know about for A-level biology is light-dependent photosynthesis. So it starts off with photolysis of water, which releases two, or donates two electrons to photosystem 2. Photosystem 2 uses light energy to go and raise those electrons from a low energy level to a high energy level. These electrons are then donated to a electron transporter, which transports them to a hydrogen pump. In that hydrogen pump, the electrons go from a high energy level to a low energy level and pull hydrogen ions through from the stroma into the lumen of the thylakoid. The electrons are then accepted by an electron transporter and carried to photosystem 1. In photosystem 1, light energy is used to go and move the electrons from a low energy level back to a high energy level and these electrons then go and reduce NADP to NADPH2. Because we've gone and we've built up a high concentration of hydrogen ions in the lumen, they can then go and pass out through ATP synthase, which will go and combine ADP with an inorganic phosphate to go and make ATP. So all of that is the non-cyclic form of light-dependent photosynthesis. In the cyclic form, the same happens again. So electrons, two electrons move into photosystem one, and are moved from an area of low energy up to an area of higher energy using light energy. They're transported to a hydrogen pump, which goes and pumps in hydrogen ions. However, the electrons are then accepted by another electron transporter, which takes them back to photosystem one. So it kind of goes and cycles around. Right, we still go and build up a high concentration of hydrogen ions, which can go and move out through ATP synthase to go and combine ADP with an inorganic phosphate to go and make ATP. Right, so that's just a quick overview about light-dependent photosynthesis.